about two years ago, Jamie right. Dimon's at a financial services conference. People ask him about fintech. Right. And he says, you know what? We can do that too, and we can do it for free. Ever since then, there's been sort of rumblings and speculation that JP is this 800-pound gorilla that's going to get into the retail investing space. And every time that Jamie talks about it, you'd see the stocks of Schwab and E-Trade go up and down, depending on how bullish that is. And it's been and, you know, two years of them testing this. So you think this goes directly at the Schwabs of the world? I don't think it. I think the market thinks it. I think when you see them you know, trading off on this news, that's what that tells you. What, what amazed me the most was what he said, that, that he got this idea from Jeff Bezos. Absolutely. The idea of wanting yeah. to be everything for your customer, being able to deliver that with like $99 Prime account. This is their version yeah. of that. 100%. So I was at a Jamie Dimon conference once, and he used the word Amazon or Bezos about 11 times. I counted it. Huh. Uh, so he's got that in his mind. Basically, it's the same idea, right? If you uh, are a good customer, they want to keep you within the financial services ecosystem of J.P. Morgan, which they're going to continually right. build out. How much of this is about the current customer and how much of this is about attracting a new customer in yeah. into the network, if you will? So they showed us this uh, pretty slick tool uh, yesterday at their headquarters, uh, and they said it was both. They said it's about switchers and it's about savers. So for savers, they want first-time people, people who have never invested before, people who find investing to be too intimidating with too many choices, or they think they don't have enough money. So those are savers. You're talking millennials? Millennials and people you know, increasingly who are older than that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, save, you know, switchers, people who have a JP Ch uh, Chase account, but they trade with Schwab or Vanguard because, to be frank, uh, JP Morgan's digital offering was pretty bad before this. Right. I, I was shocked to see that they were still offering trades at $24.95. Uh, they, there's until. a fee schedule online where it says twenty four ninety five right. per trade. It's crazy. And just to, just to put a fine point, is this going to be a J.P. Morgan branded product or is this going to be a Chase branded product? And is there a distinction yeah. anymore? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's so they call it you invest. Right. Uh, you know, it's really just going to be people are going to think of it as J.P. Morgan. Right. And so I think it's J.P. Morgan. Sure. And, and in terms of the, the the pricing structure, you say it's 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 like a Schwab uh, product, but. How much is this going to compete with like a Betterment product or, yeah. any, or any one of the robo-advisors? How much of there's going to be a robo-element to this? So to be clear, this is a two-tier rollout. We're talking about the first part of that, which is a brokerage trading app. Right. Right? This is for people who still want to trade on their own. The second tier is a robo, and that's going to come out in January. I think the biggest uh, benchmark for this is Robinhood. Robinhood is a fintech, no-commission trading app. Uh, and you know, they've got something like 4 million users and a $5.6 billion valuation. <laughs> which is kind of intense. So the disruptive thing about this, this right. move by JP Morgan, they've got 47 million users of their apps and, and their website. The second that they flip the switch on this app, everybody gets it. Disrupting the disruptors. Absolutely. Let me ask you it, one, my headline. one other question. You look at Zelle, for example. This is, do you know about Zelle? Yeah, this, sure. is, this is the payment yeah. uh, transfer. Bank of America. Yeah, yeah, sure. it, well, but JP Morgan's part of Bank yeah. of America. How is, that, how is that doing right now relative yeah. to Venmo? Sure. with PayPal or any of the other services. The reason I ask is just how much of the sort of traditional big bank brand, what that means relative to some yeah. of these newer To millennials, too. Brands. I see where you're going. Uh, Zelle, you know, despite some articles that it wasn't getting adoption that great, is doing well comparative to, you know, to the pioneer, which is Venmo. Um, you know, as you know, in the fintech space, the problem is customer acquisition. It's expensive to get customers. Right. Well, people like Chase, they have... They're just right there. Millions and millions the of customers already. Okay. Absolutely.